And we're back. It has been a while <laughs>、yeah. since we have done a D and D duet,、mm. but by popular demand, you guys voted for it, and so here we are. We are running hideous daylight. I don't know if you guys remember, but we left off last time. Roxy and her her intrepid heroes were making their way through a maze. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what happened last time? Mm, last time, it's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah,、um, hi guys.、Uh, I haven't seen you guys for a long time, and I'm happy to be back and do more videos with my husband Mike. And last time, we,、um, my cleric Wang Yu and my magic user、uh, Maggie Moonshifter and、uh, the dog. The war dog Argo went、oh, to the yeah. dungeon. Yeah, yeah the, remember the end when、yeah. my dog did like a triumphy、uh, kind of、uh, success yeah, on so, hitting that big rat. I remember that the last session started off. We were running away from this giant rat monster,、mm. and we got into the maze. And then we started the session in the maze where we we found a couple of key locations. There was a A little garden where there was some mushrooms and flowers growing that had、uh, some really cool medicinal or magical yeah. effects. Yeah. One of them was like you could put people to sleep, and the other one was. Uh yeah, I have、uh, mushrooms that can remove、uh, poison. I have、uh, flowers that can put people to sleep, and I have some nuts that can make people.、Um, Puke a lot, nonstop. Yeah, that's some vicious、um, poison stuff. Sure.、Um, but I also got some、uh, magic items. Oh, that's right. So you went to a pond, and you、yeah. found at the bottom of the pond there was some、uh, there were some magic bracers that your magic user wore. And then we、yes. decided to give the gem. It was like a little stone, a luck. A luck stone. stone. Yeah. yeah. We we decided to give that to the thief because、yes. he uses skills, and it would be really useful to hit, for him to have a five percent. Mm -hmm. uh, increased chance of success.、Yeah. So、uh, you were leaving out of there, heading towards a tower that you saw in the maze when you were approached by this multiple armed monster, and you had to actually you tried to run away from it, but it was too fast. You fought it, and Argo, the the hero of this adventure so far, the dog,、mm. uh, crit an explosive using explosive dice.、Mm. Um, anytime、yeah. you roll a crit in this game. And you're rolling the damage die. We double the damage. Yeah. Anytime you roll the maximum number on the die,、uh, you can take that number and then roll the dice again and add that to what you've already rolled. So、yeah. you get like really explosive crits. The monsters won't crit on the heroes. Just the,、uh, something for the heroes to do.、Yeah. Um, you killed that thing, and then that's where we left off. So yeah. The sun is still scorching. The heat. Of of the rays are coming down on your head. You've been out here for a few hours, and the sun has been up for several weeks. You've come here on order of the king with a reward of I think several thousand gold. If you、mm. can figure out、mm. why the sun、yep. is not setting, that is indeed my goal. Okay, so where you are, I'm gonna have to look at the map. Uh, so where you are right now, you're just north of that tower. So if you keep heading south. Mm -hmm. You will get to that tower that you were walking towards, and you can see that.、Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, let's find the right page. Okay.、Uh, oh yes. There's an observation tower. It's a simple stone tower, and you can see that there is no door on the front of it. It's just a. It's an open port, like a an open doorway, but there's no like closed door. Just you can walk right in.、Mm. Um, And the the tower itself isn't very big. It, it's two stories,、mm. and you can see there are some like it's an observation tower, which means you can watch from above to see the whole、uh, the whole maze area.、Mm -hmm. And so there's an open door in the front, and then up on the top floor, you can see there's like open windows, like okay, yeah. Um, I guess the group gonna go in. All right. So our marching orders: we have Torval, the fighter, who's going to be up front,、mm. and then behind him, we should have your two hit point cleric.、Mm. Yeah,、right? my cleric.、Mm. Yeah.、Uh, in the back row, we'll have Jazzy and Maggie next to each other. Yeah. Because they're both really squishy. They、mm -hmm. have one and two hit points each. So the only person who can actually 
like beat up front is our six hit point guy and he still has a chance of just flat out dying like i hope we don't die for <laughs> this adventure <laughs> i know right so uh you go inside and you can see that at the base of the tower there's they've set up a shrine to saint yig the god of Wan Yu and the, the mm. god of this setting yeah um you can see there are some uh simple chairs set out uh in in lines so mm -hmm. that way um people can sit and pray and you see there's an altar at the front uh, up against the back wall of the of the tower and there are some stairs that go up um why we will approach to the the statue to do a little bit Brian for uh, as a cleric and uh, she said like um, I am weak now but I hope my God can give me strength to get me through this adventure and I hope me and my friends can solve this problem for the people in this town money is not my first goal helping people is my first girl and i think uh and i hope my god can give me strength as you come up to the altar and you start to pray yeah you see that there's a curtain that's hanging down on like on either side of the altar mm -hmm. there's a curtain and mm -hmm. as you come up to the altar you can see that just be behind the curtain mm -hmm. it's a little bit out of your view when you're first walking up but as you get mm -hmm. down up close you can see that there is a suit of armor that is set up on a mannequin on a rack like a, a, oh. a fake person mm -hmm. and so this armor is set up and it's just up against the curtain a little bit out of your line of sight but once you come up you can see it's kind of tucked away in the back uh so why you notice that yeah oh she's gonna approach to the armor uh, yeah, you can see that the symbol of your god, the red cross, is emblazoned on the armor. So it's actually printed on the armor. This mm. looks like very nice plate mail, like mm. really high quality mm -hmm. and uh, beautiful. Do I feel holy from it? Uh, absolutely. Like a holy breath. Yeah, I mean, just seeing it, like, it, it, it makes you, like, you catch your breath just a little bit, like... Mm. Mm. Uh, well, uh, you know, like... Cleric, they are like really lawful. They are not gonna take things just randomly. Mm. But this armor, uh, like appears right after Wan Yu prayed. So, uh, in so somehow she feel like, I think this is a sign from my God, mm. and I think this great armor will give me strength to uh, let me get through this adventure. So I probably gonna. I mean, honestly, take it. like you feel like it's in your domain. Uh, yeah. It has your god's uh, symbol on it. Yeah. You are a holy warrior. You know that if anyone should be wielding this armor, it should be you for sure. Okay, then I will put it on. You're already wearing plate mail, right? Um, my plate mail. Yes, I have a plate mail and a shield. Well, good news. This is magical plate mail. So your armor class, instead of 16 with your plate mail, will yeah. go to 17. And then if you have a shield, it'll it's go to plasma. 18. Yeah. yeah. So this is plus one Saint Yig armor. Nice. Magic armor. Now, maybe you should be in the front now. I don't know, but you only have two hit points. I don't know if it's going to be enough to save us, but we're going to try. So do you want to be in the front, front line? Yeah. Okay. Um, and so I'm brave. Okay, so the two, the fighter and the cleric, are going to be up front. Both of them are within one hit of dying forever. But mm -hmm. you know, let's let's test our luck. Mm. Uh, the only thing left in this area that you haven't explored is the stairs going up. Okay, then um, I will go up. Is it dark? Uh, no, because the sunlight is shining so mm. brightly okay. and you know that the second floor is exposed because there's just like open windows for observing the whole maze. Okay. So as you're going up the stairs, you can still see, the, you can see the sunlight has filled up that room. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I don't need to light up the torch. Nice. No, you found that like torches have not been very useful in this adventure because yeah. there is so much sunlight <laughs> and it is not going away. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so my group will um, go upstairs, um, but um, I don't know, somehow I feel like it's important to have my 
ten foot pole to、mm. like test around、uh, in case there are any traps and、uh, sure. stuff. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna use the back of this character sheet for notes.、Um, okay, so you are. Okay, you're you're testing around. You're looking for different traps, but this place is pretty safe. As、mm -hmm. you come up to the top floor,、mm -hmm. you can see that、uh, there is a weapon rack with、uh, just one sword.、Um, there is a desk with some papers scattered all over it,、mm -hmm. and、um, a, an open book. An open book. Oh, a book that is open. Yeah, it's when, just you know, yeah. Why are you and、uh, Maggie gonna approach? Because I don't know、uh, if it's a magical book or、mm. something.、Um, yeah, so they both approach. It's not a magical book.、Um, the book it's a history of demons. Oh, this book is evil. Well,、uh, it's just a book.、Uh, it's just a book about the history of demons. So, like,、uh, the the topic is evil, but the actual contents or like the nature of the book, it's just a book. Okay. Um, well, Maggie wants to read this book. Yeah, I mean, you're flipping through, and there's like a bunch of、uh, different comments about、uh, different kinds of demons. But、uh, in particular, the book is open to a section on shadow demons. Shadow demons. Yes. Does it、uh, says any information that related to the weird thing going on in this、uh, town?、Mm. Yeah. So I mean,、uh, you you find like. There, there's facts about demons in particular,、yeah. in general. But as you're like scanning through, we,、yeah. we will have to roll a little bit of. Okay,、uh, so it takes some time to get through this book, but you do find like there's notes in the section about shadow demons. So lots of content about demons, but、mm -hmm. it seems like whoever was studying this book from this、yeah. observation tower、mm. was in particularly or was particularly interested in shadow demons, and、okay. they wrote in the notes that. Um, shadow demons can only exist in the shadows,、um, and any direct sunlight will destroy them. Oh! And there is a note that is tucked into the pages, and it is、uh, a message、mm. to someone named Muriel. Muriel. Yeah, and it says that she has awoken again,、mm. and that she has found a new. Lover. Muriel find a new lover. No, it says、uh, it's it's addressed to Muriel, and it says she has awoken again, and、Aww. she's found a new lover. We don't know who is she, right? For now, we don't know who she is. Yeah, that's、mm. true.、Um, and it says、uh, check out the well and use the tools that Saint Yig has given us. The well. Yeah, the well. But、uh, the the tool that Saint Yeg gave it to me is probably the armor I'm wearing right now. And, yeah, absolutely. And、yeah. and the thing I need to find out is the well. Where, the well, yeah, the W E L L. It's like、oh, a W E. Yeah, it's where people get water. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so you, W I L. Yeah, <laughs> not not a will to be、uh, like gifted to someone, but、oh. a, a, a well. A well.、Yeah. Okay.、Um, Let's go find the well. Oh, also,、uh, before I enter in this space, I forgot to ask:、uh, Is this place like dusty, or、uh, mm. it, it has the trace that people ha、uh, have been living here?、Um, it, it seems like within the past few weeks,、yeah. nobody has been up here. Oh, so it is a little bit dusty.、Uh, yeah, a little、okay. bit.、Uh, I would say so. Sure. Okay. Yeah, cool. I mean, you can see the entire maze from up here. As you're looking down, you can actually see the pond where you found that magic item. Okay.、Um, and you can see like there is a a, a vast garden all around you. There's、mm. a lake on the far side.、Mm. Uh, how about、um, yeah? So let's let's have you, we'll have you roll. Okay. So、uh, what I need is for somebody to roll.、Um, Like basically, just what do you see when in your、uh, while you're looking around, and I'll tell you how much information you can find. You want to roll low on your d twenty. Oh, I got a fifteen. A fifteen. Okay, so you're not gonna like see a lot of details.、Um, hang、okay. on, let me find the right map real quick.、Mm. All right, so you do see a massive lake.、Um, there's a huge、uh, cypress tree sticking up in front of the lake.、Mm. Um, You can see there is a rose garden、mm -hmm. and a fountain.、Mm -hmm. um, Do I see the well? 
uh, it's really hard to tell from where you are, but I mean, you see a massive lake, you see a tree, and then you see a rose garden, but that's about all you can make out with that roll. Mm. Well, the whale must be very close to uh, the river or something. It's not a river, it's a lake. Lake? Yeah. Yeah, that's what my mind tells me. Mm. So I probably gonna go that direction because like the garden needs the water uh, and the the whale needs water from a lake. That's oh, so like, you want to go to the garden because it needs water. Uh, they're so, not, the, so you see a rose garden, you oh, see yeah. a lake, and you see a big tree from where you are. A big tree? Yeah, it's a big tree. Mm. A well is like made of stone yeah. and it is, uh, it, it's made of stone and it's like a hole in the ground and there's like water that's yeah. kept down yeah. there. Uh, it, you would use it to like drink from or like water plants or whatever. But, um, yeah. They are all, they're all um, very connected <laughs> to well because uh, like some, some people um, put the well under the tree and mm. they need the well to to water the garden and... uh you would never have a well under a tree right mm -mm. Oh. okay because like it's different in chinese tv shows all tv shows all the wells are always under a tree a well under a tree yeah huh. yeah yeah it's like okay so uh a well is like a stone circle that's like mm -hmm. built up and there's like a big hole in the ground yeah so it's near the lake i think okay so uh, you're gonna head in that direction. Um, let's see what happens. All right, let's see. From where you are, you can get to the lake pretty quickly. So let's see, it, actually you this whole space would take you maybe an hour to walk from one end to the other. But if you're like going to a particular direction, we just kind of say it takes about 10 minutes for you to journey that far. So. Mm. Okay, so interesting. Um, let's, okay. You are heading uh, north and you, mm. uh, you're you like moving in the direction of the lake, which you can see from the distance. And mm. as you're coming up, you see that there is a, a corpse, that a, a dead body that is being eaten by a pack of deer pack of deer yeah they're so, just uh so uh the deers are eating the corpse right now yeah they look up at you and just they're just chewing they, their food they, they are i i think they are the same uh situation they're in the same situation as the, like the rabbits and the rats before mm. they they must have been like affected by some evil mm, mm. energy or whatever yeah become like zombie deers yeah because deers deers don't eat meat okay? no no yeah. they eat yeah. they eat grass and leaves and well yeah. bushes and yeah leaves yeah. mostly yeah that makes them evil yeah. sure something has corrupted these deer it's yeah. very obvious there's blood all over their face and so uh, they're like digging in how many are they oh that's a good question because I want to know uh, if I can like, kill them without me dying. Yeah, I mean, uh, there there are seven of them. Um, and what? They're, they're all just kind of like eating. It's, it's, it's a mother, a father, and a bunch of little, little baby deer. Uh, Do yeah. I care about the corp? Corpse. The corpse. Do you? I don't know. That's uh, are there any like... Weapons. Uh, I mean, you could see that this guy's cool. carrying like a big sack, but I don't know. Yeah, because Maggie probably are is, is interested in like having the extra goals from a corpse because the sure. deer, the deers does the don't need the. Uh, yeah, I mean, Torval will uh, Torval will follow you wherever you want to go. Uh, so. Well, um, can I? Uh, is there anything around here that I can hide behind it? If 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 it uh, there is, then I want to hide behind uh, behind something like a stone or whatever, and I toss a stone to another direction, mm -hmm. and then um, that might uh, mm. like 
distract to the sure uh you do exactly that you throw a a stone and it doesn't distract them it scares them and deer are very easily spooked yes and so as soon as you make that sound they look up they're like and and they run oh nice yeah well i guess i distracted the deers without like (laughs) killing them super easy to scare a deer away uh they were just kind of like and then they ran. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So right now the corpse don't have anything around it. So yeah. I mean, you go over to it and you can yeah. see it's got a huge sack of coins. There's 200 gold in, it, nice. in there. But more importantly, there's a note. Oh. And I'm going to read you that note right now. Mm. It says, half the payment of 200 gold has been delivered. The other half will arrive at sunset. Unfortunate. Guard the well. No one can go in or out. It's just beyond the rose garden, but do not mind. Or it says, stay hidden and mind the night. K N I G H T. A knight is someone who, like, oh, has, I know, yeah. yeah, will, like, be chivalric and protect people. Yeah, uses a sword and shield. So it's, it talks about uh, how he'll get another 200 gold if he does his job at sunset. Mm-hmm. But he's got to watch the well. No one can go in or out. And it's just beyond the rose garden. And there's a knight oh, there. Beyond the rose garden. The so, rose garden. The rose yeah. garden. So I know where the well is now. It also says, destroy this note. But it seems that uh, this guy was attacked by these, the deers. these deer before he could do his job okay seems like i i i I think uh i can continue his job then okay (laughs) so you're thinking let's go to the like to do his job which is go to the rose garden uh 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 uh, it says in it's a you want to read it again yeah i'll read it again sure uh, it says uh 200 gold was delivered already mm -hmm. another 200 gold will be delivered at sunset yeah Mind the well. No one can go in or out. Uh-huh. It's just beyond the rose garden. Watch out for the night. Destroy this letter. Yeah. So the well is beyond the rose garden. Yeah. You'd, you'd have to go to the rose garden to get okay. to the well. Okay. Then yeah. I go there. Okay. So we're going to go a l- change direction just a little bit. Instead of heading north, you're going to cut east. Mm-hmm. All right. And you're able to get to the rose garden pretty quickly from where nice. you are. Nice. I got to keep picking this up and putting it down. Um, okay. So uh, let's see. Turn to the right number here so I can make sure I get this information correctly. Uh, so you see a formal and intentionally designed rose garden. It's comprising of three major subsections. There's like a, a fountain. Mm-hmm. Um, you can see a big white gazebo. Do you know what a gazebo is? It's like um, it's like a place that has shade. It's like a there's like a round roof, and usually there's a table and chairs underneath oh, okay. it made of wood. I see. And um, there's also a, a well just past on the other side of the nice. gazebo. Nice. Sitting at the the white gazebo, you see an old man. He's wearing the a shield, and he has a cloak on him and on the cloak you can see the sigil of the king hmm. the the crown hmm. and uh he looks to be frozen but not from cold or ice but just not moving at all what mm. do you want to do um well i approach him with politeness and then um, talk to him like, hi, uh, are you okay? Why are you here? He slowly turns his head. Oh my God. <laughs> and you can see that his eyes are not alive. They're what? ghostly white. You, you start to notice a smell as well, like under all the sweet smell of roses is a sickly smell of rot. Is the death. smell as same as all the creatures that I encountered before? This the is deers. different. This is a dead man. He is dead. And he stinks like death. But he turns and he looks at you and he says, I am Sir Deacon. I have been charged with protecting this garden. 
and I will serve until my undeath. Are you a knight? I am. I serve our noble king. So he's the one I need to kill, right? Uh, it's. Uh, I don't know why you would think that. Uh, um, wait. Remind, remind you need me. Need to kill him. Remind me what the note says. <laughs> Beware of the night. I'll be aware of the night. Okay. Do you have a? Do you have an uh, army of undead here? No, it's just me. The king sent me here many years ago to watch over his gardens in my retirement years. What is in the garden? What is the thing that you are, you're actually guarded right now? I am to watch and make sure no troublemakers come here and destroy our beautiful roses and no kids come and paint over the gazebo with their naughty curse words. I think the king is just trying to humor me and give me a job since I'm so old and he knows I am proud. I need something to do even in my twilight years. Mm. What are you doing here? Are you here to cause trouble and mischief? No, absolutely not. I am here to finish a job. What is this job? What are you doing here? I am also sent by the king to figure out what is going on in this town because people are acting acting weird. Yes. And uh, I don't know if you notice anything. Yes, about... it was weird. I died of heat stroke two days ago. And then I came back to life. I've been sweating under the sun, and it's starting to stink. Something magical is here. I have I have an information that there is probably an evil force under the well that probably uh, re related to the weird thing that happens. Um, if you are also um, serve serving the king like i like i do i like this do you want to assist me um deacon ha he is charged with a very important job and keeping the maze and the gardens and everywhere in hollyhock safe and mm -hmm. so since you frame it in the way that you also serve the king he is uh, i think he is on board but we're gonna roll for it because uh, okay. that's Dungeons and Dragons. So okay. you're gonna, but since you did frame it in a way that was really acceptable to him, mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you roll twice and we're gonna take the lower number because that's what you want for your skill checks in old school essentials. Oh, you wanna D20. roll a one. D20. Yeah, so take the lower number. You rolled a natural 20, which is terrible, <laughs> but you and also you got an 11. Them. But what is your cleric's Charisma. Charisma. Is 15. 15. So that is a success. Okay. So, excellent. Good job. So, uh, Deacon stands up, and you can see that his armor and his weapon is very powerful as well. Mm -hmm. um, and he is, yeah, he's ready to come with you. He will go, he will descend down into the well with you if you believe there is something evil down there. Okay. All right. Let's so go. we're going to have Deacon take the front line because uh, he is the most uh, powerful hero in the group. <laughs> so oh, wow. excellent. Yeah. So we're going to have him in the front and Torval next to him. Okay. And then we can uh, uh, bump. Yeah, we can bump uh, Wan Yu mm -hmm. to the second line. Mm -hmm. And then again, Maggie and Jazzy will be in the very back. Sure. Okay. So you descend into the darkness and the, uh, the well... Like there's a, a rope ladder that leads down. Mm -hmm. Here you will need a torch. Okay. Um, none of uh, the none of us have dark vision in this group. Right? Yeah, we don't have it. We're all humans. Okay. No, no elves or dwarves or anything. Uh, well, first of all, um, what's their strength? Uh, the Maggie Maggie will carry the Argo, my war dog. 
to go oh, down yeah, there yeah, because the dog, dog cannot hair, hair. go down there. Mm. And um, it is possible. Is is it possible that I um, like I tied up a, a like a holder to of the torches on the dog so the dog can carry the light? Is is it possible? Okay, so yeah, like you, he's got on his armor. He's got like little like uh, torch spots. That yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure, that sounds fun. Thank you. Yeah, why not? <laughs> um, okay, so you start to head down the ladder, and you see that the bucket that is normally used for getting the water out yeah. and the rope that's connected to it is snapped, and it's floating in the water. Um, mm. And as you come down the ladder, you, you get down to about, like, knee high of water, but you mm. can see there is a sandy beach mm -hmm. head on the side. And in your torchlight, oh. you can see that there... This is This is really strange, but there are two doors it's a double door do they look the same um there, there's a double door on one side of the wall which is really okay. weird because okay. you went down a well and there's like a door down here it's yeah. a pretty massive chamber yeah um and then there is also a dead body up on the beach up on the sandy beach and just beyond that there is a path that leads out of your torchlight into the darkness so there's a door and the corp uh, in front of the yes, door. There's a, there's a corpse a on the beach. There's a door on the beach to the right and, and a path, path just beyond. Mm, I want to approach the dead body first. Uh, mm, does mm. he, does they... Uh, it look? is a girl. Oh, it's a girl? Yeah, okay. it's a girl. Um, what... What does she look like? Uh, you roll her over and you see she's clutching a spell book in her hand. Oh, oh it okay. is Maggie can It's all arcane resist. symbols and gibberish. Even to Maggie, who understands the value of something like yeah. this, you don't know what it says until you cast Read Magic on it. But you've already used your spell slot for the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. You only have your one scroll. But this spell book could be very useful in future adventures with okay. these heroes. Then uh, Maggie will uh, gather this. Uh, in tucked into yeah. the spell book is a note from oh. someone named Fabian. Fabian, what um, does it say? Actually, roll a d20. Let's see if you know who Fabian is. This will be an intelligence check. So you can have Maggie roll. It's a 16. Mm. Is it under or? Equal to or under. What's her intelligence, intelligence is mm. nine. Okay, so she doesn't know who Fabian is. She's never heard of this person, but this yeah. letter is from Fabian. It says, yeah. dearest Muriel. Oh, okay. This is Muriel. You are my most trusted apprentice. Apprentice. Okay. I charge you. Mm -hmm. I will hold the sun in place until you can destroy the chalice. What is the chalice? What is the chalice? A chalice is a kind of cup that is very ornate, like a king would drink from a chalice, or a conqueror would have a chalice made of like, maybe a, like a, the skull of his enemy and he would drink from it. A chalice is just like hmm. a very significant cup. Okay. Yeah, and he says, until you can destroy the chalice, I will hold the sun in place. I charge you with saving Hollyhock Gardens. It looks as though when you when you read the note, you look down to examine her body and she has these tears in her flesh. And she died several days ago, maybe maybe more than a week ago. Do I think she is Muriel? Muriel? Muriel. Mm, you would think so, yeah. So she was sent on a job to destroy this uh, this cup, mm -hmm. and um, until like be, mm, until after the chalice is destroyed, destroyed Fabian will hold, will hold the, the sun. sun in place. So uh, so I think that the reason why this weird thing going on is uh, in this town is because that uh, Fabian is still holding the sun. So if I destroy this cup, then the weird thing will stop. Yes, okay. you think so. Okay, is there any information, any clue on her where the cup is? No, other than you've heard a couple mentions of down the well, and that's where you are right now. Okay, So. Uh, well, there's a door and um, a path that leads to the deck, a dark. Uh, so first I will check the door. Is the door right. locked? You leave the body. 
of the brutally murdered Muriel, who failed in her mission to destroy the chalice. Mm. And you head over to the double doors. You place your hands on the knobs and you... With the torchlight given off by Argo, the hero, you and your new friend, Sir Deacon, Mm -hmm. head into this rather comfortable looking chamber. Hmm. There are pillows and cushions. There's a nice rug laid out over the, the, the cave floor. Mm-hmm. You see scented candles that are halfway burned. Bottles of mm-hmm. wine. Some of them uncorked and have been, have been finished off. Some yet touched. You see platters of, of meats and cheese. Are they all rotten? No. They're new? Fresh. They're fresh. And a standing mirror. It's about six foot tall. It's ornate, made of silver. And as you come into the room, a woman steps into frame in the mirror. How? This woman, long black hair, skin like porcelain, ruby red lips and beautiful blue eyes. She looks at you and she says, well, hello. You're not who I, who I was expecting. Who are you expecting? Why, it would be improper for me to share my secrets about who comes to visit the Lady Sarah. You are the Lady Sarah? Of course I am. Why have you come to my home? This is your home? Yes. Hmm. Why I you... have heard something about a beautiful lady living here and she's so mysterious and everybody wants to know her story. It's true. My beauty is timeless and it is told in distant lands of my greatness. Why are you living here? Because this is underground and why don't you show your beauty to the world i am trapped inside this mirror who trapped you an evil man a dastardly fellow what's his name oh he's died off long ago and the magic that bound me here died with him only if if only i could get out of this mirror could you help me of course it is such a waste for a beautiful lady like you trapped in the mirror and it's what a, what a loss for the the people cannot see you beauty. All I can do is take my shadow from this mirror, but the shadow can only go as far as a few feet. But if you were to break the glass of this mirror, you might let me out. Sure. But before I help you, oh. Oh, I want to know, if, have you ever seen a, a, a cup? You stay away from that cup! What? What? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> you really scared me just now. <laughs> yeah, um, you see a flash of just pure hatred and rage and something dark flash across this beautiful woman's face, across the mirror. Oh, I don't mean to do anything to to the cup. I just know, I just, I, I want That cup is of no concern to you. In fact, um, I would ask that if you aren't going to help me, that you leave because my, my suitor, my gentleman caller, will come and visit me soon and he would not like the idea of all of these men and you coming here and seeing me. He's very jealous, you see. Mm, If he loves you that much, why didn't he help you break the glass and let you out? He loves to keep me all to himself and I adore him, my Sir Omar, but he is very jealous, you see, and he thinks that if I were to get out, I would fall in love with a new husband or a new boyfriend and he would just, he just can't 
bear the thought of it, but maybe you can help me. Well, I'm a little bit confused here because one, you said that you want to break out from this uh, mural, mm. and two, you said that you adore this lover of you that much, and since he wants to keep you here, and you didn't ever ask him to break the mirror for oh, you. Oh, I have asked. He's just so jealous he won't do it. But he doesn't understand. I'll stay with him through everything. He's just so possessive. He wants to keep me here just for himself. So if I break the mirror for you and set you free, that will piss him off. And I want to know, what do I get from helping you? I will grant you untold power and riches. What, do you, what does your heart desire? I will give it to you. Do you desire for, to be beautiful forever? And she waves her hand and you see the mirror change from her image, but to you. And you look more, um, Juan Yu looks through. And she sees herself uh, wearing the, the garments of a holy priestess, mm. rising high in the ranks of the church. Mm. Maggie, the magic user, sees in herself this, this powerful mage that has unlocked the, the mysteries of arcane magic. Mm. You see gold and, and riches laid out before you. And then her image comes back. All of this and so much more. Break the glass, dear. I know my mission here in my heart that is to find a cup and she scared me before. I just want to find a cup and help other people. So uh, there's no other way in and out of this room. It's just like there's like a cushiony area. Uh, there's like some food that's laid out, the candles, the wine, but there's no other way in and out of this room. And I don't see any sign of the cup. You see cups, but none of them like strike you as a chalice. Like they're just like uh, wine glasses. I understand uh, you need my help now, but I do have another mission for now. And after I, after I finish my, my real job, I will come back to help you. Is Leave that okay? now or my children will devour you. Now you have children. The mirror <laughs> waves. Yeah. And now it just looks like a regular mirror. But you notice that the firelight from your torch is waving and you can see like the shadows are dancing across the wall and I leave the room you close the door and the shadows creep through the cracks in the door they start to slide across the ceiling oh my god oh and my they god. drop down oh in the god. form of little rabid imps they look like pointy eared devils but made of pure shadow and we are gonna roll initiative mm -hmm. all right so what do you uh you roll a d6 and i will roll a d6 i'm gonna roll a black dice for the shadows and then uh, you can roll a d6 where's my black die i don't know i don't see it this one? Oh, oh it's already over here okay here we go i got a three you i got, got a two, two. Oh, the no. shadow imps are faster they're, uh, I mean, yeah, they're quick. They, whoop, they drop down next to you and they start slashing and, and, and gnawing in the direction. So uh, we have two people up front. We've got some people in the back. Let's see. Well, I gotta find my shadow monsters, actually. Uh, ah, shadow imps. Here we go. All right. So um, there are, oh, there are a D4 of them, too. So could be really bad. Oh, there's only one. Ah, mm. oh, lucky. Um, he takes a slash. Uh, we'll say if the dice roll is even, mm. he goes for Sir Deacon. If it's odd, he goes for Torval. Oh, it's odd. It's Torval, and it's a hit. The imp slashes out with his barbary tail. It looks like a scorpion shadow tail, and it goes to sting into our dear friend Torval for 1d4 damage. Four damage! Oh, Torval has two hit points. Now, 
sorry, it happened really fast. I yes. forget to declare I want to cast the spell. Okay, you have one spell, sleep. You, I didn't use this one. Right um, you only have one spell that you can use a day, and it was read magic, but you have a scroll of oh, sleep. Yeah. Now, okay. um, you know, that, uh, as a person who can read the spell, how it works, it works on humans, oh, not on I shadows. Yeah, so, um, it's okay, you didn't need to declare the spell. So, now it's going to go to the, uh, to the heroes. Okay. So, first we're going to do uh, movement, but... Maybe you just kind of want to run away from some of like with the back guys. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I know. Um, I know. Jazzy wants to move as far back as possible. Well, all of them. Uh, all of them. Uh, it does the like this thing is undead. The, the... the demon. It's yeah. a shadow demon. It's not undead. Okay. Okay. Then, it is uh, evil though. Well, we want to uh, run as far. Away from yeah, this place. your back team. Th your back team can move, but the the guys in the front line, they're stuck in combat. They're just gonna have to stay. Oh, so but like you can get range stuck. and like use your daggers and stuff at range. Okay, sure, too. sure. Um, then uh, mace. Okay, so mace. you want to get up close. All right, this puts you in in combat range though. Uh, I I thought when you because it's when we is up front. So sure, you can you can put yourself up front. Yeah, go ahead. There's a, it's a big cavern. You could definitely get in close. So first though, before mm -hmm. Wanyu swings her mace, we're mm -hmm. gonna do ranged attacks. Okay. And Jazzy and Maggie can attack from far away. Yes. So Jazzy's gonna shoot his bow at this creature. Okay. And he is going to ooh, miss the shadow creature. Wait, hold on. With, with a what? Plus one, plus, oh no, sorry. Close range, close enough range. No, he said he moved away. Oh, with just a plus one, that's a 15 to hit is a miss. 15, 15 is a miss. is a miss. I missed. But maybe she hits with a dagger. Natural 20. No, that's a three. Now we are, we're going to move to melee. Sir Deacon is going to swing. Your dog, Wan Yu, and Torval. So we have a lot of attacks going out. Mm -hmm. So let's start with uh, your guys. Let's go okay. with your guys first. Wan Yu, Wan Yu is going to throw the mace, uh, swing the mace. With uh, eight. Eight is a miss. Yeah. She tries to swing. The, the shadow kind of, it, it, it deflects a little bit. It come, becomes incorporeal. And then the mace the, goes right through it. And then it comes back into its scorpion demon form. Okay, the dog. Also with the eight. The dog bites into shadow, but nothing is there. Torval swings. 15 plus one plus his uh, weapon proficiency gives him a, a 17 to hit. We actually do strike for eight damage. But as the sword goes through, let me make sure I got this right. Oh, it actually does still do damage though. Okay, so the sh sword goes through the shadow and you notice that like it's not a very good cut. It's almost as if the the shadow is resistant to weapons that are just normal. It needs to be light or silver or magic. And this just whoosh, cuts through it. But since the damage is so high, it's still enough to destroy the shadow. And the shadow dissolves into nothingness. We don't have any magic uh, weapon right now. We are if in a little I... bit of trouble. Oh. You yeah. see Sir Deacon, he's like, my sword is made of magic. Oh, please help. I, I will. I was just a little slow on the swing. Okay. <laughs> Can you do it now? <laughs> well, the creature is destroyed. So, uh, oh. yeah, so it wasn't, Torvald did do enough damage. He rolled an eight, by the way. I don't oh, know if you guys can yeah. see that. He rolled an eight on the damage yeah. dice. So that was enough to destroy the, the imp. Now, mm. there is the chamber that, that the tunnel past the dead body of Muriel. That goes north. Mm. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. As you head north, you enter into a chamber made of crystals. These crystals have grown out of the cave walls, and they, they're, they're very sharp and jagged. And inside of them, you can see little shadows. It looks like tiny little tadpoles swirling around inside the crystals. And you can see the, the tadpoles are in different states of growth. Some of them are little tiny embryos, like little new babies. Mm -hmm. And some of them are like little, uh, like in the shape of scorpions. And they've got their little tiny tails growing out. 
and some of them look to be like almost fully grown, just like the size of the shadow imp you just fought. In the center of the room is a pedestal made of stone and earth. Resting on top is a golden chalice with jewels and gems fastened into the cup itself. That's the cup. And you can see the cup is overflowing with tiny shadows crawling out of the top. And you look, as you come a little closer, you can see that it's filled. The chalice is filled with blood. And crawling out of the blood are these little seeds of shadow, like little worms and ants kind of inching their way up and crawling into the crystals. <laughs> with all of the crystals in this room, you can see there are thousands of these shadow creatures that are slowly incubating and ready. They're just waiting for a chance to go outside into the sunlight. If I break the cup, then the, 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 the shadows will come out. You don't know what will happen. Mm. I don't know. Do, uh, if I hold the torch, the fire, approach to the cup will the light of the uh, fire do anything to them you bring the the torch up closer and as you start to move towards it coming from the wall sliding down you see a shadow moving like a snake it's wider than a snake longer than a snake it starts to move and stand and form up before you and you see that it is a, a massive reptile made of black void with multiple heads. You can see that this, this shadow Hydra, the protector of the chalice, the brood mother who protects all of her babies and, and their in their incubation while they're mm. growing. Mm. And she speaks with you, a voice. I told you to flee. You were foolish to come here. You will not disrupt my plans. I've waited too long to find a host. And he has given his child to me. And my babies will spread across the land. We're just waiting for sunset. <laughs> And now we roll for, for initiative. initiative. Outside of the game, baby. Yeah, what's up outside of the game? Outside of the game, I don't understand. So, should I destroy this cup or not? Because I feel like if I destroy the cup, then mm. the magic cannot hold the sunset and then she will come out the cup. All right, so what you know is that there is a, a, a wizard somewhere who's casting a spell, and he is holding the sun in place. He has asked his most loyal apprentice to go down into the well, destroy the chalice for a reason. Destroy it so he can let go of the sun. He's holding it in place because these shadow demons mm. cannot go into the sunlight. Yeah. And for as long as he holds it in place, they will be trapped in the hole down in the earth. Oh. Once the shadow, the, once the chalice is broken, the seeds will no longer come out of the blood mm. and they will not uh, be able to grow and fester. And Lady Sarah's plans will be thwarted, which means stopped. Okay. Roll for initiative. What should I do? Oh, I rolled oh, a one. I rolled a two. Okay, you're up first. What should you do? Mm. Can the knight help me, please? He will, he will. He's going to help. Um, he says, For my king, one last act of service before the magic that keeps me here fades forever. Okay, I will try... Well, I just try to use my weapons to to kill this thing. Uh, Maggie will throw the dagger. Yeah, you know that the, the weapons don't do much damage, yeah, but, but they can still do some damage. Yeah, because yeah. I don't have any magical weapon right now. Yeah, it's tough. I can just try my best. All right, go for some ranged attacks first. Here, I'll get this out of the way. 
Oh, it's a ten. No, that's not enough. You throw the stone. Oh, sorry. You throw the dagger through. Yeah. Mm. Nothing happens. The the, okay. the the knife goes right through it as if it's just a shadow. It's just light. Um, now, uh, Jazzy, the the thief, will shoot his bow. Mm. Also, a terrible miss. This thing is huge. The arrow hits, but it just passes right through him. Nothing happens. Now we're going to go to melee. Sir Deacon will go first. Okay. With a magic weapon. He has okay. plus three to attack. A 12 is a miss. Mm -hmm. He swings the shadow monster, this Hydra, this Lady Sarah, Sarah in her purest form, backs up. Ha! My babies! I'll have your souls! Okay, then Wan Yu is uh, gonna throw the mace. Please, natural 20. Ah, a it's two. a two! You try to swing, boom, miss completely. Now it's gonna go to Torval. Dog, dog. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Torval's gonna swing. Oh, Torval with a plus two hits, but he oh. barely scratches the creature. And you notice that it doesn't. It, it For the first time, we actually hurt the creature, but it is such a small amount that it, we need magic to do damage. This is the only way. It's not the only way, but it's definitely the fastest way. Dog. War dog. Plus yeah. two is a 12 to hit is not yeah. enough. Now it's going to go to Lady Sarah's turn. And she has we three heads with which to bite. Here. We can't do anything. Now, here. the first, let's see, she has a plus three to hit. The first attack, if it's an even, it goes to Torval. Oh, actually, we have three targets now. Mm. Uh, Sir Deacon number one, mm -hmm. Torval number two, mm -hmm. Wan Yu number, number three. three. Okay. Wan Yu, natural 20. It hits. Okay. Sorry to say, but it's a D3 of damage. And with that, Wan Yu, the hero of this campaign, she rushes forward to put an end to this monster, and the snake head wraps around her skull. You hear a crunch. The snake head pulls back, and there's just a neck spurting blood. Wan Yu has fallen. The, the, the armor of Saint Yig is soaked in blood. The magic armor was not enough to protect her. She's dead. Though. She's dead. And now, the other two attacks are coming. It's an even attack. It's against Sir Deacon. Sir Deacon has an armor class of 18. It's a hit. He takes three damage as the snake bites into the rotted flesh of him. He's like, ah! And then the next attack, the third attack, it's not enough to hit either target. Mm. We're going to the top of the round. We need to do something. We need victory. We need to, we need to leave. That's what we need. We cannot defeat her. It's not that we can't. We just haven't hit yet. <laughs> Initiative. Do you want to flee? You can. I want to. Okay, if you do, uh, she will win. She wins. It's okay. There's always consequences to your actions. Her, uh, yeah, I mean, like, yeah. okay. it's up to you. That's really initiative. If you want to, well, if you want to flee, you have to declare least, before initiative. At least I will try. All right, let's go. Two. Six. Six. Okay, we're up first again. We have some ranged attacks, so Maggie, Maggie. can sh throw her dagger. So That's four. a miss with a four. Uh, I rolled a three. That's also a miss. Things are spiraling out of control. Um, your war dog can attack. Torval's going to attack. Torval rolls, rolls a three, misses. Things are spiraling three. out of control. You rolled a three. That's multiple threes in a row. So many. Now it's Sir Deacon's chance. He has a plus three to attack. It is a magic weapon. With a natural, natural one. one. <sighs> that could not have gone worse. She still has three heads on her... High, uh, on her uh, yeah, she still has three heads. The first attack is a miss with a 13. Plus three. Oh, wait. 13 plus three is a 16. It was odd. It's a miss against... Uh, uh, it was a miss against uh, Sir Deacon. Second attack. 
17 is odd. Plus her three is a 20. That is one damage on Sir Deacon. He's already taken four damage. Third attack. That is enough to miss both both people with a 13. It's a miss. Okay. Uh, it's a six. It was a 16, actually. <sighs> but it was odd. So... It was it hits, it hits Torvald for two. And Torvald... Only has two. Only has two hit points left. Torvald takes a... Sorry, I, I almost read it wrong, but Torvald takes a snake bite to the side of the throat. You see blood spray. And the the blood, it lashes all over the uh, the Shadow Hydra, and she laughs. <laughs> Maybe I should have taken his blood. <laughs> we could have spawned so many Shadow Children. <laughs> and with that, Torvald is dead. We need a hero. We need someone to save us. Rolling for initiative. We can't roll threes every time. We gotta do something better. Three, six, six. we're up first. We are down to just a few heroes. Maggie. With a 19, that finally a hit. a hit. That is a hit. Oh, Go ahead God. and roll your damage. Is a d4. Uh, Maggie is a d4, yes. Four damage. Okay. Thank God. Uh, you notice that it doesn't do as much damage as you had hoped. The shadow hits it. Not a big deal. You can see the the chalice is, is it's slowly seeding out more of these little babies. Dog. With a natural 20, my there dog. There it is. Natural, pew, pew, pew. Natural 20 right there. Excellent. So roll 2d4 and then, oh, sorry. It's 4d4 because it's a crit. So roll 44. Any fours you get, they go up. Here, I've got, uh, I've got uh, some Give D4s. me one d4. Okay, oh. here you go. Come on, come on, come on. Get some fours, get some fours. Let's go. Okay, okay. <laughs> Language. Uh, let's see. Three, four, five, six. Okay. So. Argo jumps forward, lashes out, snips, bites. Barely scratches the Shadow Hydra. Lady Sarah is powerful. Mm. Now we've got yes. uh, Jazzy yes. with a ranged attack. Nice. That is a hit. 19. He barely scratches the creature with his arrow. Things are not looking good. Well, but Sir Deacon yeah. has been charged with helping. Okay. And he wants to serve his king. Okay. The magic that permeates this land. Okay. This this brilliant sunlight. It's infused into even his dead corpse. It's keeping him alive. And he will strike down his enemy. With a four, he misses miserably. It goes to the it goes to the Lady Sarah. She has the dog and Sir Deacon to choose from. Oh, Even okay, yeah. Sir Deacon. Odd ah, the dog. Sorry, not this one. Uh, it misses. Um, oh, plus three. Nine. What it, is a what's uh, the uh, uh, It's a twelve. AC is uh, dog is thirteen. Okay, just barely. Okay, uh, and then the second head. Natural twenty. That is going to be against Sir Deacon. It does one point of damage against Sir Deacon. He has taken five damage now. <sighs> Third attack is against Sir Deacon again, and it is enough to hit. That is eight damage. Hold on. He is at half life now. Initiative? Initiative. He is the only chance that anybody has. I want to flee. Nobody here should be a hero. We have to fight. We have, if, here's the thing. If we don't save the world, the world dies. Okay. It dies with us. Let's or, go. I got a two. You got a one. one. All right. Lady Syrah goes first. Another natural 20. You can't make this up. She does three damage against Sir Deacon. He is now... He. Oh my goodness. He is struggling to stand. Second attack. 
another 20, but this one's against the dog for one point of damage. Mm. Sorry, Argo, you were going to take your first point of damage. Okay. Next up, last attack. Another 17 to hit. I can't believe it. It's a 20. It's enough to hit Argo for two more damage. He has three damage total on Argo. How many? Three damage in total. He's taken three in total. Three altogether. So he's mm -hmm. at nine hit points. Things are it, terrible for us right now. He's at nine hit points right now. He's taken three damage altogether. He has 12 hit points. All right. He is at nine hit points. And it is now the hero's turn. Come on, Argo. Come on, Argo. You're the only thing who can save us. You're the only one who can save us. The dog is the only one. <laughs> We're in a lot of trouble. 19. That is a hit. Argo hits with 2d4 damage. Four and the two, six damages. All right. You see one of the heads gets ripped off of the shadow body. There's only two heads remaining. Wait, wait Maggie hasn't. Okay, go ahead and roll. Yeah. 17. It was almost a 10. That hits the d4 damage. How many daggers does she have? That's her last uh, dagger. Uh, four daggers. Yeah, that's her last dagger. Three damages. Okay. We're starting to get make some progress now. Uh, that puts it at 12? And uh, Okay. Um, now we've got Jazzy with his bow. That is oh, a natural, natural 20. 20. One point of damage and four points for a total of five points nice. of damage. All right. We we see a second head. Uh, the arrow flies through the shadow head of the of the uh -huh. Hydra. Okay. And it blows out the back of its brain, and you see shadow just start to, like, spill out, and then shh, the second head deflates. There's only one shadow Hydra head left, and Sir Deacon okay. has a magic sword. Let's see if he can finish it off. Okay. Right here. Right now. Magic 20. Oh, Sir Deacon, the rigor mortis, the death in his bones has slowed him down too much. With a 6 plus 3 is 9. That is not enough to hit. We go to the top of the round. Initiative. 2. 2. two. We roll again. 5. 4. Ah, the shadow hydra head. There's only one remaining. Sir Deacon is very low on hit points. <laughs> A, but this is a 16 to hit. It is an odd number. It is enough to hit Argo. Yes. For three damage. Okay. The dog gets ripped and bitten multiple times. You can hear him go, arr, 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 and he's limping, mm. but he's still standing. Yes. It's now the hero's turn. Okay, Ma Maggie. Maggie is out of daggers. Oh. She used all four. She can take her turn to go grab the daggers, but that'll be her turn. Yeah, she won. She does that. She runs and grabs. Oh, can she just throw the bags. grappling hook on her, please? <laughs> you want to use a grappling hook at this? Okay, go ahead. Uh, give me an attack roll. Three. Uh, you Never mind. Sling the rope at it, but nothing happens. Next up is Argo. Uh, oh wait, actually Jazz it's Jazzy because it's a range attack. Here we go, Jazzy. Uh, that's between a five and an eighteen, so I gotta reroll that. Yeah. 15. 15 plus, it's, it's more than enough. It's more than enough, doesn't okay. matter. Uh, that's uh, three points of damage. Okay. But, got a round down. Argo. Still alive. Argo gets a 16 plus two to hit. 18. Okay, hit okay, three. I'm gonna tell you right now. Okay. If you do four points of damage, you can destroy the shadow creature. Okay. No time for. Three points of damage. <laughs> The dog the bites. Night, please. The, the dog bites into the creature. Please hit this time. You rip it rips into her. Like it does, but it's still standing just a little bit. And Sir Deacon says, As the sun sets, so does my life. But my vow stands. Destroy you! And he goes to stab with his magic sword. Uh plus three is fifteen to hit. We have five damage on the shadow creature. Five plus two, or uh, five plus one, actually. Uh, six damage of actual six damage slides into the Hydra, cutting her, rendering, rending her, slicing her in half. She falls. The cup is still spewing forth the seeds of shadow. What do you want to do? I think... The knight with a magical uh, sword should destroy it, like cut it in half. Because I think this thing has to be destroyed by uh, 
uh, magic stuff. You point mm -hmm. to Sir Deacon. He knows what to do. Yeah. He smashes the cup and you hear <laughs> the crystals start to crack. The yeah. blood has spilled across the floor. The mm -hmm. magical enchantment that has spurred this blood to create shadow spawn is broken. The crystal start to break. The shadows dissolve. It seems you have put a stop to Lady Sarah and her evil plan once and for all. Sadly, we lost the two of our dear friends. You did. But you can take the remnants of the chalice Sir Deacon bows one last time, and he is laid to rest there in the caverns. His magic sword still glinting. The thief, Jazzy Jeff, glances at it and <laughs> slips it into his backpack, and he says a little prayer, says goodbye to all of his friends that we've lost along the way. And the two, Jazzy, oh, Jazzy, Maggie, and Argo. Argo. Head back to the king to collect the reward. To share across the land that the shadow threat is done. And with the destruction of the crystal cave, the sun finally sets over Hollyhock Gardens. Nice. So, what do you think? Was it fun? <laughs> oh, it was so sad. <laughs> okay, guys, Brad Kerr, pretty good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually, this adventure is quite long, mm -hmm. um, but it was really convenient of him to put, like, a lot of, like, the key stuff at the bottom of the hex. So if you just, like, kind of sp spend some time down there, you're going to get to the core of the story. So that was really cool. I liked it. Yeah. What do you think? Is OSC too brutal? We've been playing OSC for... Several years, two years, I think. For a couple of years now, yeah. It's always, it's always like a thriller to me. Yeah, because so I like, feel oh. like I, I'm, I'm always at the stage that next a second I will die. So okay, let's uh, let's examine that then. So uh, compared to fifth edition, when you're playing your character and when yeah. you're playing OSC, do you still get, get? Do you feel the thrill in both versions of the game? Oh, I definitely feel more, um, my life is on the stake, can, mm -hmm. can I say that? At stake, yeah. At, at stake uh, in OSE game. And it definitely bring like mysteries and unknown uh, fear to a player uh, than the, the 5e game. And my, well, me personally prefer uh, OSE game because it's more... Um, Badass. <laughs> <laughs> it's more brutal. It's more brutal, yeah. and um, it make me. It makes me feel like way more like heroic. Uh, he he heroic. Heroic. <laughs> heroic. If I can defeat a monster instead of uh, like uh, in five E, I always feel like I'm so powerful. I am a hero. I can just defeat anything. Always, yeah. I, I can always defeat yeah. things. The assumption is you're going to smash this thing. Like oh. you're going to go fight the monster. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. Like uh, I have no idea if we're going to win that or not. Honestly, like it was looking pretty bad. Um, but we uh, we we chipped away at it. Um, mm -hmm. There were magic items in the hex that would have made that fight a lot easier, but mm -hmm. we didn't fully explore all the hexes. Mm -hmm. We found some key stuff at the bottom, and we just went straight to the uh, the end of the adventure. So yeah. uh, maybe like with more magic items, it would have been a lot easier. But I think <laughs> overall, I really I would suggest you guys play Hideous Daylight. Uh, if you're a DM out there, run it for your team. Uh, let us know in the comments. Uh, if you've played it before and what your experience was running it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, also, I want to thank you guys for uh, voting. <laughs> uh, do I play with Roxy? Because I like before I do worry about um, like people don't like the way I speak English. No. It always have, I always make all kinds of grammar mistakes. I don't speak the sentence very uh completely and that might drive people crazy and i just I, I was worried that nobody gonna like me playing in a duet uh osc game but i saw the results of you guys uh voting for the the option and i just decided to be brave 
So and to, I would say her Chinese yeah. is way better, or her sorry, her English is way better than my Chinese. If our <laughs> relationship was dependent upon me speaking Chinese, <laughs> we wouldn't have one. I only know a few sentences, a few words. It's like so, uh, anytime a person learns a second language, I think that、um, we can help them improve their language. But the effort and the、um, the bravery it takes to speak in your second language and role play in a second language is. It's really admirable, and I have so much fun doing this with you guys. We are not done. We're <laughs> gonna do other systems. We're gonna do other modules.、Yeah. This is just one module. We've got Call of Cthulhu. We've got other old school essentials. We've got all these other systems, DCC that we love to play. So、uh, we're gonna do those as well. Hit like and subscribe if you guys like this.、Uh, you wanna say bye? Yeah. Thank you for bye. watching. Bye bye. bye. bye.